excitement because Mr Mentor had invented a new game called Binky Bonky Boo. Binky Bonky Boo, what do I have to do? Three! One, two, three. We all wanted to know what Josh had to do. And Binky Bonky Boo told me I had to dance. He had to dance. <laughs> Show us some cool moves, Josh. Come on, up you get. Come on, come on. Just then, Aunt Jules came downstairs. I don't think I've ever had to change a bed so quickly. I'll be expecting a new guest then. Yes, last minute booking. Just one single lady, shouldn't be too much bother. I'm sure we'll barely know she's here. Sounds like her now. Uncle CJ opened the front door and in came... Miss Pansy Petunia, lovely to meet you. I'm Jules. Oh, I, I don't shake hands. You might have germs. Oh. Did you have a good journey? No. The flight was a disaster. I'm sure I sat next to a man with germs. Oh dear, sorry to hear that. Let me take your case to your room. Come and meet the rest of the family. There's Grandpa, my niece and nephew, Wolfie the dog. Oh, you have old people, children and animals here? I didn't realise that. Oh, I couldn't possibly meet them. They might have germs. So, Auntie Jules took Miss Pansy Petunia into the kitchen instead and gave her tea and cake. There, that should make you feel better. Oh, not a bit of it. I'm feeling very poorly. My head is thumping, my tummy is gurgling and my water bottle has gone cold. Yes, this was what it was like looking after poorly Pansy Petunia. Auntie Jules had an idea. If you're that poorly, perhaps you should see a doctor. Doctors? Oh, I've seen hundreds of doctors. They all say there is nothing the matter with me. Doctors are usually right. Oh, not in my case. They are all fools. Look at me. You can see how I am very, very, very poorly. <laughs> Just then, Mr Mentor came to say goodbye. I've come to say goodbye. When she saw him, Miss Pansy Petunia forgot all about feeling poorly. Is it? It can't be, surely. It is! It is Mr Mentor the Inventor, the most remarkable bubble inventor in the universe. Oh, so they say. And you are, dear lady? Miss Pansy Petunia, one of your biggest fans. Oh, don't touch me. You might give me germs. Oh, well. I must be off. Cheerio, so. Oh, after all the excitement of meeting Mr Mentor, I'm feeling very poorly. I need to lie down now. I'll show you to your room. Oh, it must have a big window and a balcony so the germs can escape. Do you have a room like that? Only the sitting room. So soon, the sitting room looked like this. Anything else you need? Yes, I want you to disinfect everywhere in case there are any germs. I'll get my rubber gloves. This has gone cold. Leave it with me. We'd been sent down to the kitchen with our Binky Bonky Boo game. I don't understand it. The mill on the marsh is perfectly clean. We don't have any germs, do we, Wolfie? Do you think that Miss Pansy Petunia is really poorly or is she just a terrible worrier? I think she's a terrible worrier. She seems perfectly fine to me. She's seen hundreds of doctors and they all say there's nothing the matter with her. Doctors are usually right. The only person she seems to like is Mr Mentor the Inventor. Well, if he can invent a machine that told her there's nothing the matter with her, it might put her mind at rest. CJ, that's a brilliant idea. I'll phone Mr Mentor now and ask him if he can invent one for us. Tell him I'll help him too. I'll pull my bike. See? I'm not just a pretty face. I think I'll come with you, Jason. This is a tricky job. And the more help Mr Mentor gets, the better. But, Grandpa, you'll never make it up on the lighthouse stairs. I will if I'm in Jason's pocket. <gasps> Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks? He runs and jumps about everywhere and hides in funny places.
He uses his magic to make our toys go. Up the car! And the plane! And the Sunny Slands train! Mrs. Ostridge fly. But today he was going in Jason's pocket. Here you go, Grandpa. Good luck! Bye! Mr. Mentor's starting work straight away. Oh, I see Grandpa's gone for a little lie down. I don't blame him. And soon Jason and Grandpa were at Mr. Mentor's lighthouse. Oh, this is such fun. I've never invented something that can tell you what the matter is. I really hope it works. If Miss Pansy Petunia can stop thinking she's poorly, she can get out and have a nice holiday. It'll work all right, and it will be fabulous. Oh. Mr Mentor doesn't just invent things. He invents words, too. Grandpa had jumped out of Jason's pocket and was watching. Back at the mill on the marsh... Feeling any better? No. It's just that there are germs everywhere. It's making me feel very poorly indeed. How long are you planning to stay? Until I feel better. And that could take a very long time. Back at the lighthouse, the invention was soon finished. Ta-da! I'm going to call it my whizzy woodlesome what's the matter chatter. But will it work? It was time to find out. Oh, and now we must test it, Jason. Now you stand in front of it, like so. So Jason stood ready and Mr Mentor pressed the button. Grandpa was crossing fingers. Time we had a natter. Time we did some chatter. Time for you to tell us if something is the matter. Here's my bit of chatter. There's a lot the matter. You have blocked up nosy rosy tosy itis. Blocked up nosy rosy tosy itis? Oh, that sounds very serious. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, no, no, there's nothing the matter with me. That means the adventure's not working properly. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> um, maybe you need some time to think about it. Why don't we, um, look out the window while we're waiting? Oh, brilliant idea. My inventions often start working when I'm looking out of the window. This was Grandpa's chance to help. He ran across the floor, jumped onto the table, and climbed into the invention. After a few moments, Jason turned round to see if Grandpa was ready. And he was. I think we've waited long enough. Are you ready to try again? Absolutely. Grandpa got right inside so he couldn't be seen. <clears throat> and Mr Mentor pressed the button. Time we had a natter. Time we did some chatter. Time for you to tell us if something is the matter. Here's my bit of chatter. Nothing is the matter. Which is true. Oh, fabulous! It works. You were right. It just needed a bit of time to think about it. Thanks, Mr. Mentor. But I better be getting back to Miss Pansy Petunia. Oh, yes, you must. Oh, best of luck. And do give her my love. So, Jason gave Miss Pansy Petunia the What's the Matter Chatterer. Invented this specially for me? Actually, it was my idea. You chat to it and it tells you what the matter is. Well, if Mr. Mentor invented it, it's bound to be correct. He's the most remarkable inventor in the universe. Yes, we know. Jason pressed the button. Time we had a natter. Time we did some chatter. Time for you to tell us if something is the matter. Here's my bit of chatter. Nothing is the matter. Nothing? Are you sure? Absolutely nothing is the matter with Miss Pansy Petunia. And there are no germs at the mill on the marsh. No germs? Well, I never. Isn't that fantastic news? You know what? Now that I know there's nothing the matter with me, I'm not feeling poorly anymore. Yay! In fact, I've never felt better in my life. I'm going to go to the lighthouse and thank Mr. Mentor, and then I'm 
going to have the most wonderful holiday. Ah. I'll give you a lift in Campo. Oh dear, she's still wearing her nighty. I better tell her. So off rushed Auntie Jules. As soon as it was safe, Grandpa jumped out of the Wizzy Rudison What's the Matter Chatterer. Couple, quick, Grandpa! Oh, <laughs> we did it! We did! Just like old times, eh? Teamwork! Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.